Hey, a block from downtown Colorado Springs is the Olympic and Paralympic Museum. It's brand new uh, in 2021, um, and it's located in a, a, a beautiful park in downtown Colorado Springs. And uh, this is a host for all kinds of uh, summer events. It's uh, right at the foothills of Pikes Peak and right at the doorstep of Colorado Springs, the downtown area. Uh, this is a great little park and if you have people coming, Colorado Springs is known as Olympic Town USA. So we've got all kinds of uh, Olympic, uh, US Olympic stuff here to enjoy. Um, but yeah, the, the city of Colorado Springs, as you can see, it's kind of a, not a huge area. Uh, we have a big footprint of Colorado Springs, but our downtown area uh, really is not that, not that metro. You know, it's not that huge. We have a wonderful Philharmonic. We have some cool museums in downtown Colorado Springs that you want to see, but it's really not that, uh, not that overwhelming. <laughs> um, but when you, you know, when you move to Colorado Springs, one of the places you'll come down, and we have some great little restaurants in town, and and so forth. And like I said, the Philharmonic and plays and all kinds of stuff to see. Um, but the uh, the park right here is a big summer place where lots of people come and have a great deal of fun. Uh, the real beauty of Garden of the Gods is experienced personally through your own efforts, walking and hiking, driving through, uh, even the, the little trade uh, shop in there. It's fascinating, lots of cool stuff to see. So when you bring guests from all over the country that come to visit you because you live in Colorado Springs, this is definitely one of the places you want to take them. I mean, just up over the hill, uh, there is the uh, Manitou Cliff Dwellings and the Manitou Springs, the Cave Dwelling. Uh, so there's lots of cool stuff to see right in the Garden of the Gods area, even uh, Red Rocks Park, which is another kind of a local hiking spot. But this Garden of the Gods is really an amazing place to see. You've got to bring your guests to it, and you'll go back to it time and time again as you visit Colorado, as you live here in Colorado Springs. So Memorial Park is again a more of a historic park in Colorado Springs. It hosts the Surditch Ice Arena and that is one of the uh, more established rinks in town. Colorado Springs has a very, very vibrant youth and adult hockey uh, presence here. Um, we bring people from all over the world that train here to play, to, to compete and learn how to play hockey for, uh, you know, obviously for the Olympics and so forth. But um, a lot of pro hockey players have come out of Colorado Springs. It's a real hockey town. Um, but anyway, the Memorial Park has a Prospect Lake. Now, I know this is a little bit of a wintry scene, but uh, it's very busy uh, all summer long. There's the lake. There's the velodrome for some really interesting biking uh, competition, um, and then we have a very uh, hist uh, we have a really neat uh, I say neat, but it's the M firefighters memorial. Um, it's one of the places in in the country that honors the fallen firefighters, um, and then there's a firefighter museum just over a couple blocks away from Memorial Park as well. Um, so every uh, Labor Day, there's the Balloon Classic where all these hot air balloons come out. It's really cool. And then for the 4th of July, uh, over on the grounds, I know they're snowy, but it's, uh, it's a big field. The Colorado Springs Philharmonic will set up, and they'll play you know, the William Tell Overture on the 4th of July. They'll play it to the fireworks, which they shoot over the lake. It's quite an event in Colorado Springs. So this is a great park, again, if you're living in Colorado Springs, to bring your family for different events or to just enjoy, but it's a great place, to, it's another great part of Colorado Springs. So the historic Palmer Park, it was uh, given to the city of Colorado Springs way back when it was first forming by General Palmer, who was one of the kind of founding fathers of Colorado Springs. And um, this park is just, a, it's just picnics, hiking, biking, dog walks, tons of trails, Lots of places, and it's located pretty much right in the in the city, uh, or in the middle of the city. Uh, it won't be able to be developed, and so it's a it's a neat place for people that live anywhere to bring their bike, bring their family, have a picnic, bring their dog. Uh, my wife and I walk our dogs in here uh, quite a bit. As you can see, it shows it's close to the city, and it's just right in the middle of the town. So it's a really gem 
of a park in the Colorado Springs area. One of the things when you live here you're going to enjoy.